Hello everyone, it's a uh, quick message from me, I haven't had a chance to look at all the me all the emails and stuff like that about what's been going on, but it's been great to see the little WhatsApp messages coming through about some answers to prayer and some prayers being offered in there. And uh, in this last week we've, I've been uh, reading a book called Dirty Glory by Pete Gregg while I've been away, just amazing. And in fact I met a lady who has a story in there. Uh, about a lady who God had moved into particular things. She needed some cash. She went to her cleaning cupboard and there was cash there. Real live the coins and notes. Just extraordinary. And it was the amount that she needed. And it happened a couple more times and then it stopped because she, the need had been met in that immediate time. And uh, just amazing to see her being part of Julia's retreat and jumping out of the pages of this book. So um, I've been really helped by this book and uh, just to think about how prayer is just at the centre of everything we do and uh, really interested in the idea of whether we can get a 24-7 prayer room set up in and around BCP. That would be quite interesting. So if anyone wants to come with me and see, I'm going to try and go and see the one up at Romsey. Um, maybe we can go and have a look at that and see what, uh, what's possible. But we need some really deep prayer. By the way, if, if you want a copy of this book, I think it's so good. I'm happy to give someone a copy if, uh, if you think it's great. Mine's been scribbled on a bit, so there'll be a, a, a fresh copy for whoever wants it. But it's so good we start the week with prayer. And just uh, on a Monday morning, we have 8.30, we're praying about the homeless in our town. On, at 9 o'clock on this particular Monday, I'm praying with some church leaders about the, with the conurbation. At 9.30, we pray together. And, you know, I know that many of you have prayer time through the week and there's uh, a star prayer time quite often. And just getting more prayer behind stuff is uh, something I'm really energised to do over, this, uh, over these next couple of months, particularly for some of the really difficult stuff that uh, we're facing you know, that we uh, that we want to see um, God making a difference in. But anyway, there's lots to pray for this week and lots to get stuck into. There's um, the CMA jobs where uh, the guys are doing some uh, reviews of all the applicants they've had in. So we're really proud that we've had some good ones. Um, we've got a barbecue on Wednesday with David and the, and the team who the, from the various churches who are thinking about that network to of, of sort of open doors. And we're thinking about names for that maybe Nexus or a connect, Connected, um, things like that, which will we can be doing some training to get people up to the right level to be able to cope with welcoming any stranger who might walk in through the doors. Uh, the STAR uh, course continues over at Coastline. I know the STAR recovery um, support group is also going. Uh, what have we got? We've got, uh, I've got to get some, with David a submission in about the what's called Hope Place or St Stephen's Centre, which is going to be the single place of um, health and housing help within Bournemouth and uh, it's sort of building on the work that Claire Holly's doing with the health bus. So there's some really big stuff going on this week and I'm sure you have too. Um, and indeed, it's good to see at least one person using the beach hut this week. Don't forget it's there, folks, and uh, make what use of it if you need to. Um, what hidden treasures will you unpack? Not just the potato that we found this afternoon, we didn't think we planted, but what are the hidden treasures that you're going to find this week? And uh, are you still getting in those little victory stories, you know, those piece of paper one side and then the other side just to, uh, with from some of your clients or volunteers, that'd be great for the event on the 24th. Anyway, real quickly, just to say, coming back to prayer, Matthew eleven twenty four 24 is a great verse. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you've received it, it will be yours. I pray that will be true for you this week. Have a great week, whatever you're doing, and uh, we'll talk very soon.